come to organic chemistry class and this in this class will be i'm actually um thinking of naming organic compound we'll be naming organic compounds like so maybe you see something like ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 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 so in the first class we'll be starting with simple organic compound so the first thing i want you to know is that in organic chemistry naming organic compound in, let's say uh, maybe especially the um, nomenclature of, of organic compound we should take note of this very quickly we should take note of the families so i want you to take note of the family before we go on naming compound the families and then their functional group because that's what we used to reproduce. so I just name few families since we're just starting to so know how to name organic compound we start with few families and their functional group so the family one we have alkene Alkenes, the functional group just a single bond, and then here is family two. We have alkenes E and E. Alkenes, functional group here is to be double bond. And then we have alkyne. Kine, functional group here is triple bond. So I think let's start with this one. Let's start with this one. A few of them we have other ones like alcohol. Functional group is OH. So if you see maybe a compound, let's say this has this compound, this is going to be um, an alcohol. So having known this, now the next thing I wanted to know is that number of carbon, number of carbons. So in terms of number of carbons, maybe you have this um, compound here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, up to six carbon here in this compound. So what will this call? So we name any compound like based on their number of carbon so in now this alkane is actually a family so under this alkane under this alkane so we have other family like methane butane propane and so forth so in so these are called me boots probe according based on the number of carbons so if i have maybe let's say just one carbon then it is a meat so if it is two carbon, two carbon, it is it. If it's three carbon, it is probe. If it's four carbon, it is boot. So if it is five carbon, it is paint. Six carbon, it is hex. Seven carbon, it is hept. And so on. So for example, now you want to maybe name um, if, uh, be a compound. Now let's assume we have something like this. For example, let's assume, for example, we have something like this: CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. So you look at the co this compound and say, okay, well, it is one, two, three, four. So this is the number of carbon is four. Then it's a boot. And since the functional group is just a single bond, then it's under the f um, f family alkane. So just take the boot, take the last three name, ane. So it's going to be butane. If it is two carbon, ethane propane and so forth so having known this rule now let's think of now let's say maybe let's think of maybe drawing some structures so let's take for example of we have for example we have let's say let's draw the structure of methane so this is methane um don't worry about your general maybe the general formula maybe the general formula for our team like for this now for our king, the general formula there i just want to chip into it so that in case maybe if you're studying you see it it won't be an issue so general formula for our king um, is we have c and h2 n plus 2 c and h2 n for our king and for our kind we have c and h2 n minus 2 so and so forth so in case, in case you see this is all the general formula to look for so look for it so if the number of carbon is one for example for for methane we have c and h2 n plus two so if n which is number of carbon is one then substitute one here we have c1 h1 is here two times one is two plus two is four ch4 so if you draw this structure now if you draw it meaning this carbon is going to hold four hydrogen one two three four h h h h for hydrogen so each of this single uh, line here represent maybe a bond covalent bond and this covalent bond is, is same thing as okay, let me expand this so it's, it's the same thing as this is carbon is the outermost shell it has one 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 carbon is actually a tetravalent compound so this this one will be hydrogen one 
hydrogen one hydrogen one hydrogen so in terms of so in terms of doing these two electrons here we can use a single stroke to represent it so it's just that just what it means so let's try for the second one now let's try for um let's take a butane b u t a n is a to take note the main aim of this compound now so why do you why the form covalent bond is what obtain an octet state so, so what does it mean for the electron atoms electron to be complete with eight electrons so we have one two three four five six seven eight so the aim of each of these companies was that they should have eight electrons with each of them like having bond maybe um, each electron of the tetravalent carbon bonding with one um, hydrogen atom so in terms of butane let's write c n h 2 n plus 2 so boots remember if the shark draw butane boots from uh number of carbon here boots is what four so number of carbon is four so then we we'll put n to be four so if you put four here you will see four h two four plus two so you'll be c four h times 4 is 8 plus 3 is 10 c for h10 so in terms of drawing this you draw the carbon first c c c four carbon one two three four carbon and then you then fix the hydrogen to all the carbon now <clears throat> in such a way that each carbon should be having four of these lines one two three four so with this and here is one so this carbon needs just three to balance three hydrogen to complete this four this one has two already it needs just two to complete this this one has two this one needs two to complete this this one has one then this one needs one two three two to complete this so yo now if you should count it we don't one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now automatically it will complete the ten hydrogen without you even trying to consciously put hydrogen here you're just trying to balance up the carbon to have octet states because each of this stroke represents two electron one two three four eight one two three four eight one two three four eight to have octet state you to just automatically give you 10 hydrogen so this is actually the skeletal structure so to write the condensed structure just work this carbon has how many hydrogen ch3 three then you say okay see this carbon has two ch2 you say this one has two ch2 and you say this one has ch3 so this is actually the condensed structure for this so you can you notice that when two maybe two of um, this one um, these two ch2 and ch2 are close together and they are the same so we can instead of we can also write it this way ch3 ch2 put it in a bracket and put two outside meaning there are two of these ch3 so is how to write it so i'll like you to um give it a try or maybe try you can try example you can try um let's say try this on yourself you try octane yourself octane you can try octane yourself so in next class we'll be looking at maybe uh, alkene and then also how we can name structures something like this how we can name something like this so don't forget to like share and subscribe if this was helpful you can put a comment also if you have any issue any problem any question drop it in the comment section